The Detroit Pistons are slowly building something special. Although this season has clearly been a disappointing one for the Pistons, as they even were the worst team in the NBA for a good portion of this year, as of late, the Pistons have definitely shown a lot more promise and some potential of what they could potentially be in the long-term future. But quickly, before we get the video started, for those of you who may not know, I'm Juicy Sports, I make opinionative NBA content, and if you guys enjoy videos similar to this, hit that subscribe subscribe button, that like button, and that post notification bell. I also want to quickly mention that I recently started up an MMA channel, and if you guys are interested in that, the link will be in the description. But anyways, let's get into it. It's no secret that the Detroit Pistons have been struggling for some time. After being one of the worst teams in the NBA for a couple different seasons, they were then rewarded with some pretty high draft picks, even having the number one overall selection where they were able to draft Cade Cunningham a few years back. But regardless of their drafting, at least up until this point, the Pistons weren't necessarily able to have that much success. As it seemed like season after season, even after drafting Cade, the Pistons were one of the worst teams in the NBA. And even this season, the Pistons were the worst team in the league for a good portion of the season. And after all the struggles that the Pistons were going through, a lot of fans started to panic. Fans started to question whether or not the Pistons should move on from some of their core guys like Cade Cunningham in order to get more draft picks in return and in order to get some more players in return because although Cade was playing pretty well individually, when you looked around the roster, they didn't necessarily have all that much and a lot of fans started to become worried on whether or not they can build a legitimate team with what they had currently at that point. But obviously as a trade deadline has come and gone, it's pretty clear that the Pistons are going to stick with their current rebuild that they are going in and stick with the current core that they do have. And when you look at how the Pistons have been playing as of late, it's clearly been paying off. As the Pistons have been a lot more successful as a team, not necessarily in terms of wins, although they have been winning a lot more now than they were previous, but most importantly, they are staying very competitive with a lot of different teams in the NBA, and that includes some of the better teams in the league as well. And of course, in a lost season like this, it doesn't necessarily matter how many wins you get at the end of the season. Really what matters more, in my opinion, is how competitive you are against a lot of these other teams. Because if you're able to be competitive against a lot of other teams, and especially especially if you're able to get some big wins against some pretty good teams this season. That's something to build off of going into next season, and it's not like this season was completely lost for the Detroit Pistons. But a question that some of you may be wondering at this point is why? Why do I think the Pistons are building something special in Detroit? Well, in my opinion, it comes down to a couple different factors, but the first factor I want to touch upon is the overall roster. Because when you look at the roster that the Pistons currently have, it's pretty clear there's actually a good amount of talent on their team. As of course, at the top of the ticket, they have Cade Cunningham. As Cade has been extremely impressive ever since making it to the NBA, and in terms of his offensive abilities, it's pretty clear that this guy's special. He has a phenomenal ability to shoot from that three-point range, whether you talk about the catch and shoot, cross over, sidestep, or step back. Obviously, from that mid-range area, he's also pretty prolific as well, with nice floaters, nice post-turnaround fadeaways, one dribble pull-up, cross over, sidestep, or step back. But even once he gets a full head of steam driving all the way to the basket, he's also extremely effective, and this is probably one of the better aspects of his overall scoring ability. As Cade does a really nice job at finishing around the basket with crafty layups, either his left or right hand, of course he has a nice ability to dunk over players at times as well, and overall when you look at Cade's overall offensive ability, it's pretty clear that not only is this guy very prolific, but he's able to do everything out there. But the great thing about Cade is his offensive abilities don't just stop there, as Cade also has a really good basketball IQ and a really really nice understanding of how to get his teammates open looks, and it's just a great facilitator. So I think it's pretty clear when you look at Cade's offensive game as a whole, it's pretty clear that this guy is not only a great individual scorer, but he also makes everybody around him better, and due to that, I do think he's a very special overall talent. Now besides just Cade, they also have Jaden Ivey, who's been extremely impressive offensively, although there definitely have been some periods throughout his career so far where he hasn't necessarily looked all that impressive, I would say 
say as of late, Jaden Ivey has definitely been playing a lot better, and I do think there is real potential with this guy. I think his scoring upside is pretty high, much higher than what he's doing currently, and I do think he can make improvements in some other aspects of his game that he probably was struggling with a little bit earlier on into the season. Now, besides those two, they also have Jalen Duran, who's been extremely impressive this season for the Pistons, especially as of late. I think when you look at Jalen's game, it's pretty clear that this guy's a very capable scorer on a lot of different levels and a very capable player on a lot of different levels. But in terms of his offensive game, a couple things that jump out to me personally is his ability to work in the post due to his great footwork alongside with his great size and strength and athleticism, but also his ability to run the pick and roll or pick and lob offense is extremely impressive with Cade Cunningham. He's also a phenomenal rebounder, whether you talk about offensive rebounds or defensive rebounds, Jalen does a really nice job at getting in position and getting those boards. And on the defensive side of the court, there's obviously a lot to love as well. So overall, I just think Jalen Duran is a really impressive player already at this point based on his offense and his defensive skills, but also in the long-term future, I think he's only going to make some improvements and some refinements to his game to make his game even better in the long-term future. And I do think a pick and roll or pick and lob type offense between him and Cade Cunningham is going to be special in the long-term future as well. But the next reason for why I think the Pistons are building something special is due to their coaching. Now, Monty Williams has been a guy who's had some experiences elsewhere and had a lot of success, particularly with the Phoenix Suns. As with the Suns, he was able to do a really nice job at getting a really young team that the Suns had and turning them into a finals team. Now, obviously there were some failures that Monty had throughout his career, like with the New Orleans Pelicans and really after his finals performance with the Phoenix Suns. But regardless of that, I do think there's a real place for Monty to be a head coach in this league due to the fact that I think he has a real talent. And the talent that Monty has is connecting with young players. Because when you look at what he was able to do in Phoenix leading up to that finals performance, he had a pretty young team and he was able to instill a bunch of different things in those younger guys, like confidence individually, like chemistry, overall as a team and playing well, playing hard both on offense and on defense. And I do think when you look at this Detroit Pistons situation, I think Monty can really help this team out. I think he's going to do a really nice job at connecting with these young players and he's already shown the ability to do so so far and I think he's going to get these guys playing harder. Because when you look at how the Pistons were playing early on in the season and compare that to how they're playing now, it's really night and day. Obviously the roster is basically the same, but the real difference is how hard these guys are playing. Of course, their chemistry is significantly better. Of course, they're playing better offense. Of course, they're playing better defense. And overall, due to that, they're a lot more competitive with a lot of these teams they're playing right now. Now, obviously, as I mentioned before in the video, we're not seeing a lot of team success from the Pistons in terms of wins, but obviously based upon the roster that they have right now, and based upon how young a lot of these guys on their team currently are, of course, you're not going to expect that much overall team success at this point. But what you want to see is effort, and the Pistons have definitely been showing it as of late, and I do think that's a real representation at how well Monty Williams has been coaching. So overall, I do like a lot of the things that I'm starting to see with the Detroit Pistons, and I do think they are starting to build something special. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think the Pistons are building something special or do you not think so? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did enjoy, check one of these two videos popping up now. And until the next time, peace out, guys.